Hi, this is a six part series learning how to visualize data in Postman. In this video, we're going to begin adding a visualizer. Before we start, let's pull up the docs for the Postman visualizer. We'll be using the docs for the next few steps. I'll drop a link right here. All right, let's head over to Postman and move on to step two in our get started folder. Under the test tab, we have this code block from the docs to set the visualizer. The PM object contains a bunch of information and functions related to the script being executed. So you have access to the request and the response in the Postman sandbox that we talked about in the previous video. The pm.visualizer.set method takes three parameters. We'll use the first parameter layout and the second parameter data. Your layout is a required parameter. This will be the HTML template string of the front end view that you want to render. In your data, is an optional parameter and will be an object that you can bind to the template so that you can access this data in the front end view. Remember, we're under the tests tab now and the test script runs after the response is received, after we've received something back from the API. We can take that data and visualize it by passing this API data to the front end view that we'll talk about in the next step. Don't hit send quite yet. In this video, we added pm.visualizer.set to apply the visualizer code that we'll write in the next steps. Make sure you understand this little bit of code and we'll dig into these parameters next. Coming up next, let's add the layout. 